here's our effect controls. And so you saw this probably in my demonstrations in the tutorials. This is where you live. This is the space where you see and make changes to all of these elements. And you do want to see it. If you're not seeing effect controls, this these little arrows right here show you all the different tools within this workspace. You really want to be in effect controls. That's what you've seen me do in demonstrations. Okay, so inside of effect controls, there are many tools. And when we, when you guys were adding video effects and video transitions in your previous projects, um, that's where you would see them kind of pop up in here. So let me just kind of show you. Over here, depending on what it looks like, it might look like this where you just see motion, opacity, time remapping, volume, panner, okay? These all drop down. Motion's a big one. This shows you position and scale for each video element. And so now, Danny, I'm getting to the point where I answer your question. Okay, so again, make sure you have an element selected. Make sure your cursor's on it so that as you make a change here, you see it in this preview panel. So, if it's not filling the screen, Danny, your scale is off. And we do that right here. And you can do this manually just by letting your mouse hover over this number. You click and hold your mouse, and then you just toggle back and forth. You see how that's changing, Danny? And that's how you fill your screen. You change the scale of the video element. And that's true both for like the actual video I have playing here, but I also have this text box. And same thing there. If I go up to let me close that out, motion, scale, there I'm changing the text box. Okay. You can also click into your preview. Whoops. Pre nope, that's not what I wanted. Preview panel, and you'll get these editing boxes. I find this to be very wonky. I'm not fond of that. I really like to just go over to my effect controls and do it right in here. I feel like it's a lot smoother a lot easier, okay?